Hi everyone, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into a reading for the sign of Leo. Remember that the readings are in general, all of the messages will not resonate with everyone. So let's hop right into this and see what's going on with you. Overall energy for the sign of Leo, please and thank you. Overall energy for the sign of Leo, we have the two of pentacles. So you may be juggling back and forth on making a decision. All right, what to manifest, something that you're creating. But I'm going to let you know you have all the tools around you in order to manifest or create whatever this is that you're um, trying to create. We have the lover's card behind that. So follow your intuition and make the right and try to make the right the right decision. OK, so uh, use your gift of discernment. Let's move forward. Any challenges for the sign of Leo? Any challenges for the sign of Leo? We have the judgment card. Making a clear decision. Making a clear decision. It seems like that is a challenge for you. You're being called to make a decision and you don't want to make the decision. So this is something about receiving your fair share. Equal give and take. Hmm. Are you giving too freely? Are you not giving enough? Let's move forward. Um, matters of the heart for the sign of Leo. Matters of the heart for the sign of Leo. The moon card. All right. So there may be some doubts, some fears. When it comes to the matters of the heart, you may feel um, uh, holding on. To, someone is holding on to their independence a little bit too tightly, okay? Um, it's time to face some fears about that and allow us to, allow someone to come in. Let's move forward. Blockages towards true love and success for the sign of Leo. We have the page of wands. Giving immaturely, accepting offers that's, that are immature uh, and decisive about starting something, about beginning, about taking the first step. Let's move forward. This is all about indecisiveness. Come on now, Leo. Uh, what, it, what needs Leo's focus and attention at the moment? What needs Leo's focus and attention at the moment? That's the nine of wands tried to fall out. It tried to pop out, but it didn't. Uh, what needs Leo's focus and attention at the moment? All right, we have the nine of swords, those worries. The fear, the worry, the doubt. I'm not saying to focus on being worried and stuff. What I'm saying is to pull out of this energy. Try not to focus on the fears of whatever this is. It's time to um, transmute that energy. Clear that out. So work on your af affirmations. Yes. Reassuring yourself that um, that you are capable. Moving forward. How is Leo being seen at the moment? All right. Loving, caring, following your heart. Queen of Cups. Unconditional love. Yeah, maybe an outpour of emotions or giving too freely to a certain extent. So... There's a teaching and learning experience here with the higher friend card. You're being guided through this. Mm. Let's move forward. So, um, advice for the sign of Leo. What's the advice for the sign of Leo? The star card. Continue to have hope and faith. This. Mm -mm. We're going to have this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So anything that you um, have doubt and fear about, we're going to replace that with renewal, hope, and faith, okay? The Nine of Cups is here at the bottom of the deck, loving yourself first, um, allowing yourself to be open enough for love to come in so you can get to that wish fulfillment. The Ten of Cups is there, most likely outcome if Leo follows the advice going towards your destiny, right? So we have the Ace of Cups falling out, brand new beginning, a new love opportunity. Clarify the Two of Cups. You want new love to come into your life? Continue to have faith that it will. So this is going to give you with just that. Uh, we have the three of wands here. Seeing your ships coming in. The emperor. Okay, so you may have two individuals in your life. And you have a choice to make about who you want to be with. But maybe deep down inside, you know who you want to be with. Deep down inside, you know who source is telling you to be with. I don't know. But it's time to be clear about your decision. Taking control of your life. We all have free will. Clarify the judgment card. Clarify the judgment card. Or, you know what? This is also um, you being able to 
handle what's being given to you. All right? Being able to balance everything. Yeah, we have the five of pentacles and the five of swords. So, bickering back and forth. Uh, I like their of mentality. It's time to move on. That emperor card is still is poking out. Time to take, take control of your life. Doing what you have to do to make that decision. Yes, you may have to leave some people in the cold. Yes, you may have to cut some things out. Yes, you may have to do what you have to do in order to, what you, in order to do what you have to do. <laughs> so, yeah. It's time to make that decision. Clarify the moon card. All right, so some of you guys may feel reunited with a person. A particular person. But... Right, I think I said something about that. It's some one of these people that you're dealing with could have put you in the energy of feeling like you messed up, crying over spilled milk. There was no love in the in the situation, in the connection. That five of cups type of energy. Maybe you walked away from the lies and deception, or maybe you 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 are walking right towards them. Clarify the page of one. Ah, uh, that's why I sort of saying, pay attention to how you feel. Is this making you feel good? Or is it making you worry? Is it making you doubtful? What's making you feel this way? It's time to pay attention to that and clear it out. Okay? Clarify the page of wands. Clarify the page of wands, please. And thank you. Clarify the page of wands. We have the hermit card. Going within. Prayer and meditation. Blockages with the page of wands. Mm. Three of Wands, a page of Wands, four of Wands type of energy, that foundation, family, union. Okay? You've been thinking about this. You want an offer. You want that to come towards you. Maybe you're overly focused on that, and that's what's bringing you that worry and doubt about when is it coming towards you. When when are you going to have that divine soulmate connection? When will you get married or something like that? I think it's time to focus on your finances, your pentacles, on your gifts, your crafts. That source has given you in order to serve. Clarify the nine of swords. There it go. There it is. That five of cups. I was just talking about that. I was just talking about you over there. Is that what you deserve? Is that what you deserve? The six, um, the six of pentacles energy at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you feel like this is what you keep. This is what you keep on receiving. It's as if, right? This is where you need to know your worth. And that five of pentacles energy, um, dealing with a five of pentacles energy, someone looking for a handout, someone looking for help me, help me, help me, help me, help me type of energy, or end up being in that energy because you feel as if some like you feel like as if you are not enough or something like that. Who's making you feel this way? What's making you feel this way? You doubt your, it's, it's like a lot of yeah, self-doubt. Simple things, simple, simple things that um that doesn't go right. You may feel as if others look down on you or something like that. Try your best. And I know no one's perfect, but it seems as if someone's trying their best to be perfect. Yeah, let's move on. Clear about the Queen of Cups. The Nine of Wands, not giving up. Ready to give up, though. Exhausted, tired, will of fortune. Right. Don't don't give up before the change now. Hold on. Don't give up right before the change. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Brand new beginners. Right around the corner. Let's move forward. Clear out the Star card. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Working, 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 working. Working to get towards your destiny. Okay? Working on becoming better. Working on your faith. All right? Clearing out this energy of this... Three of Swords, Heartbreak of Pain. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Being, look, that's what this is. I just need to say it like this. <laughs> being so, being whole within yourself, loving yourself to the point that you're not looking for anything else from another individual besides maybe go creating or something. Okay, and it's cool to build with a with a person, but not looking outside of yourself for someone to fulfill you. 
All right, let's move on. Um, the world card and the six of swords is here. What that was clarifying the, the, the ace of cups. So moving forward, closing out a cycle of, in your head, self imposed imprisonment, challenging situations. Yeah. We're moving on and closing out cycles. Clarify the Hermit card, please. The Page of Swords. All right, so if you feel like you don't know enough for what you have or what you want to do, so this is like follow your intuition. If you feel like you don't know enough, learn more. Read a book. I don't know. Do what you have to do. But um, don't, don't hold yourself back. Use your discernment. Before, like, yeah, don't drop the ball. Don't give up before, right before um, these blessings and gifts come through. Let's move on. What, what's the world card? Clarify the world card for Leo. The six of pentacles. Rece receiving what you deserve. What else was poking out? Receiving what you deserve. That equal give and take. Um, hmm. I, I, why do I feel the need to say this? to um make sure you're not giving out more than you're receiving like running on fumes type of energy um or taking care of others before you take care of yourself type of energy Right, because that's where if you do that, you end up being in the energy of lack, feeling as if you're missing something. Hmm. Divine masculine energy at the bottom of the deck. Taking control. Taking control of your life. Having that strength. Taming that beast within. Confidence. Let's get a message from the Oracle deck, you guys. That was quick. Wow. What message do you have for the sign of Leo's? Message for the sign of Leo's. That was quick because that was a full spread that I just did. And what? 12, 11 minutes? <laughs> message for the sign of Leo. What other message do you have? Here we go earth magic someone else just received this i can't remember who it was because it was a few readings back let go at the bottom of the deck for earth magic here we go let's read this number one and we have being grounded in nature the quiet dark place where all things begin where essence is first ignited before manifestation, knowing you are part of the earth and she is a part of you. Earth magic speaks to the intrinsic intrinsic relationship that you and all living things have, have with the consciousness of the earth, also known as Gaia. Imagine the oak tree that begins its journey as an acorn gathering the life force energy it needs from the earth so it can sprout up from the ground. Because you are a part of nature, you follow the same cycle of manifestation. Everything you are, your evolution, and the successful manifestation of your dreams begin below the surface of consciousness until an idea comes. Conviction takes hold and something meaningful, meaningful can be planted. Be still for a moment. Quiet your thoughts and imagine anchoring your energy to the sacred quality of being part of this being part of this living earth excuse me guys <sighs> do this mindfully to connect to the this divine intelligence with the power to create the perfect form from the essence of a tiny spark of life indeed this is miraculous the message now is to trust that the seeds you've planted in your field of dreams are in good hands the earth is a conscious divine source of love that is doing its part on your behalf slow down take in the beauty of your life now and trust that what you are intending is being nourished and is growing there will be plenty of time later to tend to your garden to water it and weed it great magic is germinating underground working its way to the surface to deliver more blessings that you can imagine let it let it 
Leo, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your likes, shares, all of that good stuff. If you guys would like a personal reading from me, all of my information is down below. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.